My name is Horst Hagen. I'm coming from Montreal. Who, who first introduced you to Scott? Where did you learn to play? Well, I played back in Germany. We were 10 kids at home. And 60, 70 years ago, there were not too many televisions there. So in the evening, when it got dark, we played Scott. My grandfather teach, uh, taught me that. And uh, so you're, you're a big sponsor for the SCAT tournaments. And uh, what, what makes you so devoted to SCAT? What is the love and passion behind that? Well, everybody likes to have a hobby, and it so happened that SCAT became my hobby because I'm a pretty good SCAT player and uh, immigrated to Canada 50 years ago. We played a little bit here, and we Scott is typically German, or most of uh, it's a German sport. And uh, we, company-wise, we were okay, and we sponsored some of our players who couldn't afford to attend some world championships or world championships. Yeah, we sponsored the Scott World Championship in my hometown in Grömitz which was 2002, where we had a record of players, almost 1,600 players playing there. And uh, this was, I think, one of the nicest tournaments Scott ever had. So uh, if you could just talk a little bit about, uh, a little bit more about your world championship experience and why you'd, you'd want to represent Canada as opposed to Germany in the world's championship? Well, being a Canadian now, or living here for the last 50 years, naturally my heart is in Canada now, not Germany. And for me, it was always a challenge to beat the Germans because in Germany you have around, I would say, 300, 400,000 registered SCART players. The biggest club, the German SCART club, is over 30,000 members. And they all thought that we, living in a foreign country now, didn't know how to play SCART. And that's why we wanted to make it our goal to collect the best players here in Canada, because we do have some good SCART players here, to challenge the Germans. So do you think that you can be one of the 12 best in Canada? And will you win at the World Championships? Well, we won the World Championship with a strong team in 2006 in the Bahamas. And then we won it again in Spain, where I consider myself one of the better players here in Canada. And that's why we are still now trying to get a good team for Poland to try to beat the Polish guys and the Germans in Poland. So we have a good chance again to win the game. So, so who is uh, your toughest competition, would you say, and why? Well, we have out west here, we are Montreal, it's east, and then we have the challenge against west, and out west there are some good scout players like Ronnie Ling and Eric Lutz, but I consider myself hanging right in there. So naturally, there's always a competition between those guys. Everybody wants to beat each other. And even this tournament here today again, everybody tries to beat me, and I try to beat them. So what uh, would you say are the top uh, characteristics that a player would need to be a champion? Well, Scott is 60% uh, luck. 25, 30% skill, and 10% probably where your team, uh, the other player, make a mistake to win the championship. So you do need 25, 30% skill because it's always when you show, uh, look around, it's always the same people who win tournaments. Basically, you know, there's a certain group which win it. So it has, it's not always luck. It's a little bit skill too. So why, why would you recommend uh, other people to learn the game scat? Well, I think, I think it's, uh, it's nice to, to keep going the sport because, like I said, I learned it 50 years ago, and now the new generation with computer and so on, they are not in it anymore or they don't have the patience for it. And I think to keep a tradition up, and it's very, you know, if you're a good scout player, you have to be a little bit intelligent too. Like I said, it's skill too. And whoever has skill, he likes to challenge. And I think this is a very challenging sport.